Hey, um, I'm going to be reviewing Dead Alive. Also, it's also known as Brain Dead, I think in the UK, maybe in Australia and New Zealand too. Uh, this movie is directed by Peter Jackson. It's one of his earlier horror movies that he made. Uh, this is, you know, pre, uh, Lord of the Rings. Because this movie came out in 92 or 93. I can't remember the exact date. And it stars, um, Timothy Baum, Baumay, I guess, Diana Pen Penoliver, Elizabeth Moody, Ian Walken, and Ian Walken, I guess. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, the movie is about, the plot of the movie is about a group of archaeologists. They go to Skull Island. And so there is a King Kong connection there. And, um, uh, they are looking for a rat monkey. Like this exotic animal. So, they go there. They bring it, they, they are attacked by it, but somehow they still manage to bring it back to New Zealand. And they put it in a zoo. And one day, this, um, young man and his mother, um, uh, I forgot his name. What is his name? Damn! Lionel, yeah. Lionel and his mother and his, his love interest go to the zoo. And his mother is bit by the rat monkey, and she starts getting sick. And then later on, you find out that she is a zombie now, and she starts getting everyone else sick in this New Zealand town. And it's just chaos ensues. It's like very crazy, gory movie. Um, yeah, this is another horror comedy. Um, it's, this one's, is actually, like, a zombie movie, like, a straight-up zombie movie, like, they do actually, like, bite people, they also tear people apart, but there's, like, a lot of, like, I guess somewhat slapstick humor and a lot of, like, body humor and dark humor, stuff like that, um, the main character, Lionel, he lives with his mother, he takes care of her. He's like in his twenties or thirties and he and his mother's like very abusive and like kind of like a Norman Bates situation. She's like very controlling over him. And uh he find he falls in love with a local woman named Paquita. I think that's her name, Paquita. Um she's I'm not sure what she, I I think she's Latina, but I'm not sure. But they fall in love and, like, it's just a crazy journey they go on with his mother. And he's, like, trying to hide that his mother is sick. And she's, like, turning into, like, this bro zombie thing. And there's, like, this really funny scene where, like, I think it's Paquita. She runs in and she goes, your mother ate my dog. And he's, like, holding up, like, part of the dog. He said, not all of it. It's, like, that kind of humor. And, uh... Yeah, this movie, you can tell, was, like, really inspired by the Evil Dead. Like, at least the first two Evil Deads. It's, like, very, like, crazy. Like, the ending is so bonkers. Um, not, like, the, well, the, the main ending that most people know about. But the, the, the very end of the movie is, like, very, just comes out of nowhere. Um. There's also, like, this zombie baby thing that, like, he has to take care of because in the movie, a bunch of people get infected and two of the zombies mate with each other and they form, like, this zombie baby and it's, like, <laughs> like it runs around and um, it's, like, very gross looking and it's, like, bouncing. He, like, kicks it and it kicks it and bounces around and it's, like, just... It's in the same movie. And it's like, I wonder why. <laughs> it's like, I wish Peter Jackson would make more movies like this. I think before this, he made Bad Taste, which I've seen, and Meet the Feebles, which I haven't seen yet. But Bad Taste was another, like, weird, crazy, gory movie. Um, but, yeah. 
There's also a scene with a priest where, like, these a bunch of greasers, like, come in. This is, it's weird because it's set in modern times, which would be the 90s, the early 90s, and they have a bunch of greasers come in. Or maybe it's set, maybe it's set in the 50s. I don't know, but they don't, I don't think they really establish a time period from what I remember. But, like, these greasers come into, like, a cemetery and this priest, uh, like, he looks like Father Ted from that show, that Irish show, Father Ted. And uh, he goes, I kick ass for the Lord. And he starts, like, whipping, these, <laughs> like, kung fu and these greasers and shit. It's, like, really hilarious. I mean, it sounds stupid, but it's, like, really hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, then there's the, the famous scene at the end where they're having, like, a house party. And this is where it's, I, I know that this movie is like one of the gory, goriest movies ever made. I actually looked up how many gallons of blood they use. It's, they said 300 liters of blood or fake blood was used in, in just this scene alone where Lionel, like a bunch of people at the party turn into zombies and Lionel takes, um, uh, a weed whacker or lawnmower, like a hand lawnmower, and starts like cutting all these people up. There's like, you know, Paquita and some other people like fighting zombies and shit. It's like really crazy. And then at the very end, this big ass creature, I guess it's supposed to be like Lionel's mom, but she's like a big, like tall, towering creature in her. She got like saggy boobs and stuff. And they, she tries to eat, like, Lionel and stuff. It is just so freaking weird. It kind of reminds me of the ending a little bit of, like, Evil Dead 2 when that creature comes in and try and grabs Bruce Campbell. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that party scene, no, it, I think that's, like, the most infamous scene from the movie where Lionel is just, like, cutting up all these zombies with a, a hand lawnmower. Um, there's also this really gross scene at like a dinner where um these older people are sitting there eating and then like there's boils popping and they it lands in like this it looks like porridge or oatmeal and then they're like <laughs> there's like pus in the oatmeal and then they go and they just eat it and it's like so it's just so gross like ugh. and then the two zombies have sex that was nasty too. But yeah, it's a it's just a really crazy movie. And like the acting is like very over the top, like comedic acting, but but that's what you expect from this kind of movie. And um yeah, I would highly recommend it. I I think it's a really fun movie. Very enjoyable. It's it's good. It's like kind of interesting to see what kind of movies Peter Jackson made before he became big with like the Lord of the Rings franchise. And he did, like I said, there was a King Kong reference in this movie about Skull Island. That's where they get the rat monkey from. And uh, he, Peter Jackson later on went on to remake King Kong, well, another remake of King Kong. Um, yeah, I I highly recommend it. Um, like I said, it's a fun, really funny, funny, good movie. I watched it with my friend one time, and we had fun watching it together. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's my review.